The storm dialer is incredible. The quality of pump numbers are incredible. This is Ricky Cohen. He just called to say hello. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. It's all about tone. The reason people don't respond to you like that is because you haven't been doing it long enough. It's not because they're not friendly. It's because you haven't made as many calls as me and you don't understand the flow. You read them over the phone, pay attention, and then flow the conversation. Hello? Hey, Miss Hunter. Yes. Rick, hey, this is Ricky Carruth, Remix of Orange Beach. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm fi we're finally getting good weather down here. It's been nuts this year. Well, I didn't want to take up too much of your time today, but there's only one unit for sale at Royal Palms, and I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could do for you guys today. You know what, Ricky? I'm going to pass you on to my husband. Okay. Who doesn't want this? Condo. I'm the one who wants to sell the condo. You just buy positive nice things. So, it, 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 so, <laughs> so, so you want to sell and he doesn't? I want to sell and he doesn't. Oh, okay. What, what's his hold up? But he just. Do you have time to just give him a hello? How are you doing? So we can establish contact. Ab absolutely. This is Ricky Cavoon. You know that agent that I'm looking at online. He's just calling to say hello. Hey, Ricky, what's Hey, man, how are you? I'm good. We're finally getting some good weather down here, man. It's been a crazy year. Well, my son was just down there with his family uh, during spring break, and he told me he had never seen the number of people in uh, Gulf Shores that he saw that, uh, that weekend. Every year since the oil spill has been a record year with tourism down here. You know, you just can't, you can't hold progress back, you know? No, you can't. Uh, what? What the heck? Well, I, I'll tell you up front, we're, uh, we're not interested in selling. Yeah. But uh, we watch uh, what you send us and have been for months. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think you'd be the guy. That's what I want to hear. We enjoy talking to you, and my wife wants to talk to you again. Good talking to you, man. Thank you. I would like to call you if you could work some time in to come in and take a look at that condo and give me an idea of what we could do for it. Um, a few thousand dollars it would make to pay off. I would, I would love to. When, when are you coming down? And we'll figure out a good day and time for me to come over and check it out. And uh, oh, we'll, we'll get it straight. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have a good day. All right. This one sounds like I'm their guy when they decide to do something. This stuff is easy. This is not hard. Do exactly the way I'm doing it. Call people up, see how you see how they're doing, see if they're enjoying the day. Tell them you don't want to take it too much of your time. A house around the soul corner sold. Didn't know if there's anything to do to help you. It's not brain surgery. Hey Steve. Yes. This is Ricky Carruth, Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? Good, Ricky. What's up? Man, just trying to enjoy the day. It's kind of cloudy. Hey, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Did your house there expire? On Green? Yeah, yeah. What's what's is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, I'm selling. What what's the story I'm on it? Selling. What what's the story? What's I mean well, why? I might, have had it, I might have had it listed a little too high. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were the only one we were the only thing for a year. Right. And Zillow says it's worth what we were asking. And Zillow lies. Yeah, I know. We're renting it right now and we have guaranteed uh, $35,000 a year take home income. Yeah, yeah, you're just in a situation where if you sell it good, if not, you'll collect rent. I'm meeting with my, I'm meeting with my partner and we're going to discuss options, but we, I don't really know exactly what to do. Do you want me to go down and maybe evaluate it to give you what the realistic value is and that way you guys can make a, a real decision if you want to sell it or keep it? Yeah, you could. I'm not going to commit to it. Yeah. Get, um, there might be somebody in there right now. No, yeah, yeah. I can I can go when it's bait, you know, whenever they check out or in between guests or whatever. See if I can tell you when that might be. All right. Yeah, I mean, I've owned uh, seven units at the Beach Club over the years. Nice. And, but they were all condos. Yeah, yeah. But I've owned an Ian, 
you know, down there I've owned an Indies and the, and the Beach Club. Right, right. I think, I want to say I, I saw, I want to say I showed you this place a while back. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I remember it. I remember it specifically. Like I know how nice it is. So just let me do some let me do some market research, and I'll get back with you. Man, I, I had some people that really liked it actually, but they never did any. They never did anything. So it's not. You know, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Give me a market analysis and call me back. All right. Yeah, I'll be back with you, man. All right, Ricky. Later, bud. Okay. Okay, guys, you see how that went? I already saw the property. I showed it when it was listed. It's a really nice place for 525. It's overpriced. That's the problem. But he wants me to give him a true CMA on it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that and go down that road. The whole goal with real estate is to accumulate clients that want to do business with you.